On this episode of On Location, we're taking a look at running graphics and video playout with vMix, as well as a pretty cool two-set studio we used with PTZ cameras, fixed cameras, and a dolly. So let's take a look. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna take a look mostly at the role I was doing, which was the graphics and video playout. But first of all, I wanna take a look around the gear we used on the day. So here you can see the studio all set up, and uh, you can see we have a seating area on the side here, and the dolly was set up so it could go from the seating area to the standing area pretty smoothly. We also had a fixed camera for close-ups and three PTZ cameras for the coverage of all different areas. Then we had a confidence monitor for the on-screen presenter and the panelists. So now over to my role in the production where we had vMix running video playout. We actually had two videos per day for two days, a total of four productions. And um, for each production, we played between 10 and 15 videos. So for this, I created lists in vMix. After creating these lists, I was able to use Companion to trigger the playback of the videos. And you'll see my program output on vMix here is a black background before I press the play button. And that's because I was using external output on vMix and sending a key fill over SDI using this Blackmagic Ultra Studio HD Mini. With the key fill, I could leave it on the whole time during the production. And then whenever I wanted to play out a video or play out a lower third, I could just press a button and the main director wouldn't have to worry about touching anything. And all the graphics were sent to this main production switcher, which was also running an instance of vMix. Like I said, I used this whole setup for running lower thirds as well. So I was able to create a big list of names in vMix. And then when the time came, I could just cycle through those names and show them on the screen. I used vMix shortcuts and companion to cycle through each of the names back and forth. And then I could just fire off the name when the time came. And it was really nice to use vMix for this setup. Um, I've talked a lot about ATEMs on this channel and, and things like that. But finally being able to show off a little bit of vMix and hopefully more in the future um, was really nice. Having two separate vMix computers as well made it super interesting and uh, a nice way to share the load between two computers. Uh, if you find this useful and you want to see more videos on vMix and things like that, then let me know in the comments below. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next On Location.